so here we are again in the 2.1 version of the game and we are going to um, be showing you how you can find out the static pointers to the base addresses of the libraries yourself uh, as in the previous half of the video you saw how to find out in 2.0 and this is the 2.1 v3 16 400 update the beta version okay the last version in the beta version so we are going to follow the previous method that we just learned uh, by searching for the library like this uh, as a string in the whole memory uh, make sure that you check this uh, writable in ignore mode and we already saw that these two addresses are going to return fake value and these are not the ones that we are looking for the correct address starts from here and downwards okay you can al also explore the addresses that are shown down here go to any memory region represented after the e0 <coughs> and then you can uh, see that the beta version is represented by this com.tencent.igce okay and this is the first entry of the lib anox library and we already now know the location of the pointer which is 13 bytes above this string or you can see it visually uh, you will find it directly this string is uh, loaded in multiple locations also here okay from here up to here you can see it from here up to there okay uh, in two of uh, the locations that are here so we are going to use the second one that is more reliable and then uh, in the method that I have shown to you you can just add it here as a pointer and verify it if it is in effect pointing to the correct location or not we add some simple description for mm, our understanding and then we can add this address uh, like this and we can click ok and then we can verify this array of uh, bytes that we just have with mm, the one that is physically stored uh, on the disk with us this is the one that we have found from the pointer value and we can open the 2.1 library in the hxt or in any other hexadecimal editor we can copy the bytes from here and then we can see and compare visually with the one that we have found using a pointer as you see that the last bytes are exactly the same as the one pointed to by the pointer so it means that we have in fact found the correct pointer for the library and uh, this pointer easy to see one two two eight i have posted it already here okay Similarly, the process can be followed for finding the pointer for UE4. These two are necessary and uh, I think these two are enough for bypassing the anti-cheat completely. No other libraries are necessary in my perspective. But it all depends on uh, what you guys make, what which functions you guys patch. So uh, there could be some functions that you are patching and those also require patching other libraries like data master or tprt etc or libg cloud for that reason uh, but in my eyes these two are enough so i posted only these two and similar process uh, you can carry on for all other libraries loaded inside the game uh, to find the uh, static pointers uh, i think that's it for this tutorial uh, this should be enough for all of you to not rely on the posts by other people in uh, UC and only rely on yourself take care keep learning and keep working harder uh, goodbye until the next video